Hello, I'm Ellie for edu for java and this is tutorial number 8 of Android game programming. In this tutorial we're going to see a new class of sprites. If you remember, in the last tutorial we managed to make the characters disappear when we made click on top. But if you remember from the first tutorial, when we clicked on top of any of them, there was a blood stain. This blood stain is what we're going to do now in this tutorial. The blood stain appeared for some time and then it disappeared. It was temporary. It is a temporary sprite. It appears, it is printed in the screen for milliseconds and then it disappears. The first thing we're going to do to create this new class of sprites is to create a new class. This new class will manage this type of sprites. Let's copy the code from the page. This class here is very similar to what we had made with Sprite, but in some way it's easier. It doesn't have any speed. The stain, the blood stain is static. We have X and Y for the position, but we haven't got speed. We have a bitmap, the one of the stain. We have a new property, which is maybe the most complicated thing. And the only different characteristic is that this sprite has to disappear. After some time, it has to disappear. For this, we're going to include a field called life. It is initialized in 15, 15 ticks. What is a tick? Each time the game loop calls the update method, it is called a tick. It is the same example of frame per second as when we called the on draw. It's the number of time the on draw is called in one second. Those are the number of frames per second we're going to have. In our example now, in our game loop, it has the update inside the on draw. So they are going to be synchronized, but this could be not this way. In other type of games, it doesn't happen. We can have more number of update than draws. Basically, each time we call the update method, we're going to decrease 1 to life. We're going to remove the sprite from temps. Who is temps? Temps is the list containing all those temporary sprites. It will be used by the draw. It's a list which is in the view. When the sprite is in the temps, it will be drawn in the screen. When it disappears, it will not be printed in the screen. In this way, we achieve the temporality. Once uh, we have more than 15 ticks, it will disappear from the screen. How do we get temps? We get it through the constructor and we save a reference inside a field. Apart from this, in the constructor we have a game, we get a game view, a pointer to the game view. X and Y, which is where we press the screen and where we want the stain to appear. And lastly, the BMP, which is really the blood stain. Why don't we construct the BMP and we receive it through param parameter? This is to reuse the BMP. We will see it in the future tutorials when we use Central BMP Manager. Here we have a calculation of the X and Y position of the sprite. It's a bit complicated. 
let's come back here after we have all these working. For this we have to update the game view. In the game view the first thing we have to do is to import this save image as. Let's put this image inside the images. Do you remember where all the rest of images are? In uh, resources here. F5 and here we have the new image. We have to add at the end of the constructor here we're going to create a new BMP. For this we have to create a field to save it. We have to create another field with the list of temporary sprites. Okay, let's add, add another list with these temporary sprites. Here it says we have to add in the drawing the um, new temporary sprites. We are going to put them in the on door before the other sprites. This is so that they are part of the background. In this way these are written over these and it looks as if the stains are on the floor, on the background. Lastly, we have to create the sprites. When are we going to create the blood stains? Just after removing the sprites. Because it has been destroyed, we're going to add it. Here we should create a local variable for x and for y. And here we save these values. Okay, there they are. The x of the event is saved here in this local variable and the same for y. If there is collision I remove the sprite and in the same point I add a new sprite temp. Send it to the constructors parameters, the list of temporary sprites, a pointer to game x and y, which is the x and y where we make click and the BMP blood which we created at the beginning. If we run the program we can see the result. You can see the blood stain, see? Each time we click there is a blood stain. If you watch the blood stain it is centered in the middle where I click. This effect is due to these formulas here. Okay, let's um, do an example. If this wasn't like this, if we directly wrote x and y, let's run it again and watch what happens when we, we click. Can you see that the stain comes out below on the right? This is because the sprite is drawn from the position where I clicked. If I click here, it is drawn from here. It is drawn from here to the right and downwards. So that it is drawn in the middle. To be drawn in the middle, we have to make some calculations. This one here. It is well explained 
in the website too. How do we get the stain in the middle? We take away half the size of the BMP to the position X. Instead of printing here, consider this segment here over here. This is going to make the printing of the center of the sprite is going to be just where I made click. We achieve this by taking away the width of the BMP divided by 2, 2x. This is not enough. We have more problems. We can't print out of the border of the screen. It gives us an error and the application crashes. So x and y have to be greater than 0. If x minus BMP dot get width divided by 2 is less than 0, we get 0 instead. With this we control the minimums. To control the maximums, here we have an example of the x. With the x result from before, we are going to get the minimum of the x and the total width of the screen minus the width of the BMP. If we have a result bigger than this one, we're going to be printing part of the BMP outside the screen. And we will have an error. OK, this is all for this tutorial. See you in the next tutorial. Bye.